Interestingly, a lot of the ground rules end up being part of ACTS. The common question that people ask when they're thinking about coming on a sailboat coaching trip or they're maybe a little afraid to come on a sailboat coaching trip is, what if my skills aren't any good? I've never tried sailing before or I'm a, a real beginner at sailing. And what I tell them, and this frames up the agreements that we have together as a team, is that skills are not in the top four. The top three things that we're looking for are A, attitude, B, <laughs> communication, T, teamwork, and then skills is the small S at the bottom. Skills are four. And so inside of that framework of having a great attitude and being an excellent and intentional communicator and being an enthusiastic and willing team member, I feel like the ground rules kind of sort themselves out. I guess there are a bunch of different agreements that apply in different ways. One of them is that everybody helps out around the boat with the sailing, with the cooking, with the cleaning. And I feel like all of those things feed into the T, the teamwork. With communication, we have clear calls that we use uh, in sailing to talk about we're getting ready to tack. Okay, what's your job? We're getting ready to tack. Are you ready? Okay, we're ready port. We're ready starboard. We're ready on the main. Okay, let's go. We're tacking now. <laughs> Just to have that crisp, crisp, clear communication. I feel like attitude, communication, and teamwork are the three biggest things in sailboat coaching, in sailing in general, in life, in relationships, in work. I feel like if attitude, communication, and teamwork are in place, you can learn the skills for the job, for the relationship, for whatever you're up against in life. And the participants are getting great value out of being immersed in attitude, communication, and teamwork. We had a participant for our coaching mastery program this summer, and they said, I would have paid triple. My entire life is different. I have recreated the life that I wanted, and I'm living it now. And you just can't put a price tag on that kind of value.